Hey guys, so I'm going to do a video on morning routines, but um, I just wanted to share again what happens every single time I go to sit down to do a live video. Smitty was actually on the seat, but then as soon he's sneezing, as soon as I started, he got startled and, and left. So um, luckily the seat is available. I'm just going to put this on the tripod. Um, so welcome to my first live video on this page. Um, I wanted to do a video on live video. No, I wanted to do a live video on morning routines because I've been doing a morning routine for almost two, almost two weeks now. And, um, and it's really been, it's really, really, really been helpful for me. Um, I had a pretty a pretty relaxed morning routine before like I didn't um, I didn't set my alarm I work from home so I didn't set my alarm um, I kind of woke up naturally which is nice it's definitely nice to not wake up to an alarm but um and I did a lot of the same things that I do now <laughs> <In the morning. laughs> can't control cats um, <laughs> A lot of the things that I, that I do now, I, I already did um, first thing in the morning, but I just kind of did it on, on more relaxed terms. So I learned about specific aspects to a morning routine from Rob Dial, um, who is, he does the MWF Motiva Motivation Podcast. If you haven't checked out that podcast, it is one of my favorites. Um, great short, like 10 to 15 minute podcasts um, for motivation and personal development. So I would highly recommend that podcast. Um, so he was sharing about what he does for his morning routine. We had a morning routine challenge. And so now that I've been doing it for about two weeks, I've shared it with people in my Facebook community, um, which if you want to be part of that group, I will link to that group in the comments. Um, and I've already had people reach out saying that as like now that they've started and they've been in their morning routine, um, they have found their days to be a lot more productive. So that's really the purpose of a morning routine is that you're starting your day on your terms. Um, I already have my day on my terms. I get to create my own schedule. Um, my purpose to my morning routine is to be able to take care of myself um, and get myself in a great mindset before I am reaching out and helping other people. But for those of you who are either stay-at-home moms and need to be there for your kids, um, it allows you to to kind of start your day on your own terms before you need to, you know, filling your own cup before you are filling someone else's. Um, if you are going to a job where you're on someone else's schedule, it's, again, a chance for you to, um, to really start your day on your own schedule. Um, you should never, 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 never get to a point where you are too busy that you're unable to take care of yourself. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong um, in your daily schedule if you don't have 30 minutes to take care of yourself. So, um, all right, so let's get into it. So the three components um, of that you should include in a morning routine is something for your mind, something for energy, and something for your body. So some of the options, um, as far as your mind, are reading, journaling, meditating, visualizing, planning your day, focusing on gratitude, um, some sort of goals review. You can either do you know, weekly goals or quarterly goals or yearly goals, whatever, you, whatever goals you have set, um, some sort of goals review. And then um, affirmations. So I'm going to go through those again. So the components that you can use to work on your mind are reading, journaling, meditating, visualizing, planning your day, gratitude, goals review, or affirmations. And then um, the components for the energy piece are um, going outside and looking at the blue sky, which in the winter might be a challenge. <laughs> Um, I don't know exactly where you live, if you want to comment below where you live. Um, I live in Chicago, and a lot of times in the winter, it's hit or miss when it comes when it comes to the weather and how much sunshine we get. So um, a lot of times I wake up to a gray sky, but um, 
the purpose of going outside and looking at the blue sky is that it stops the production of melatonin in, in your body. So it really helps to basically tell your body it's time to wake up. Um, another option, if you don't have access to a daily blue sky, would be a Philips blue light. Um, you do not look directly into it. Rob was explaining to us that, um, you know, you could put it on your desk and have it kind of like out, you know, the corner. So you see it out of the corner of your eye um, while you're working or, or doing whatever. So that's an option. Um, a cold plunge. If you don't have a cold plunge in your backyard, um, you could have just take a cold shower, which again may not be super exciting in the winter, but um, it will definitely shock your system and wake your body up. Um, coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker, so that's that's what I use. And then um, you can use a variety of breathing techniques. Um, Rob ex explained about the Wim Hof, uh, W-I-M-H-O-F breathing technique, which you can YouTube. Um, I've also done some breathing techniques from Kundalini Yoga. Um, so Gabby Bernstein has taught about the backpack meditation. Um, so I do that sometimes. And then food, if you're eating some sort of food in the morning, you want something light that's not, that basically your body isn't using a lot of energy to digest it. Um, Rob suggests some sort of fruit, whether it's an apple or a banana, um, something kind of light. I usually hold off and drink Shakeology after my workout. So um, I, I work out fasted, and then that's something that I have later on. Um, so again, looking at the blue sky for about five minutes, um, a cold plunge, coffee, breathing, and some sort of light food would be options for energy. And then for your body, either yoga, workout, or stretch. So if you haven't if you haven't incorporated some sort of morning routine before, I would recommend only doing one from each category. So choose one from the mind category, one from the energy category, one from the body category, and start there. And then if you're finding that either you have extra time and you want to add something else additional, or if you know you're really interested in maybe trying two of the mind options, then you could go, but don't do more than five. So three to five, but one from each category. Um, so what I do every morning is I wake up, push the button to brew my coffee, I drink a bunch of water to kind of help get everything started, <laughs> and, um, and then I make my coffee and I bring it into my office. I have a meditation space set up. So I have um, my meditation pillow on the floor. I have my kind of altar in front of me on the windowsill. And, um, and I start meditating. I do, um, I do sometimes do the backpack meditation, which is um, starting out with four short breaths in through your nose and then one long out through your nose. So it would be... And then you can work your way up to eight short breaths. Um, another breathing technique that I've used in the past is uh, square breathing. So you would breathe in for four counts, hold for four counts, breathe out for four counts, and then hold for four counts. So. my breath <laughs> um, so those are those are some other options um, and so then I meditate I follow a guided meditation I usually um, do some sort of Gabby meditation um, I am currently doing um, her may cause miracles her 42 day guide um, and so I do the guided meditation through that um, although most of her oh, actually all of her meditations in that specific guide um, our evening meditations, but I sometimes will use some of her guided meditations from that album to do in the morning. Um, I'm also in her miracle membership, and so there's a monthly there's a monthly meditation. This month is a cord cutting meditation, so I've done I do that sometimes in the morning, um, and then I also have some meditations that I got through her crazy sexy miracles that she did with Chris Carr. Um, and there were some bonus meditations. So um, there's a I Am Limitless one that I really, really like. And then, um, I don't remember the name of it, but there's another one about, I think it's Life Supports Me. 
I think that's the other one that I really like. So I do a lot of guided meditation. Um, so then after I meditate, then I do my Course in Miracles, um, my reading for the day and my lesson for the day. And then after that, I do my May Cause Miracles um, morning affirmation and morning reflection. So I do meditating and reading for my mind. And then, um, and then for my energy, I do coffee. And then for my body, I either do yoga, I either go to a yoga class, or, um, or I do my workout here. So for me, I was already doing a lot of these things, almost all of them. Um, but like my working out, for instance, I would usually get sucked into something else before I would get my workout in. So the biggest change that I made is I'm now including my workout really as part of my morning routine. So that's it. That's what I do. Um, it has really, really helped me to be more productive for sure. Um, also, the other biggest thing that I changed because I, you know, I told you guys that I wasn't waking up to an alarm. Um, and so what I found out was, or what I found was that when I wasn't waking up to an alarm, even though I have the freedom and flexibility to work from home and wake up whenever I want, um, I found that I was just kind of lounging in bed longer than I wanted, or I would read in bed and there wasn't really a separation between, okay, lounging in bed and now I'm in my office working. So, um, so I now prefer to read in my office um, and really kind of use this as my workspace, even though it is at home. <laughs> Um, and so I use, I have an iPhone, I use the bedtime um, part of the clock or the alarm. And, um, and so I just make sure that I'm getting seven hours of sleep. I make sure like at midnight it pops up. I'm usually asleep by then anyway, but at midnight it pops up saying time for bed. Um, and then at seven o'clock my alarm goes off, but it's like a really soothing alarm. Um, and so it kind of gently wakes me up. Um, the biggest thing was that I just didn't want some like, alarming alarm waking me up every single morning. So I have a really gentle option that wakes me up and then I roll out of bed and start my morning routine. So um, if you found this helpful, I would love it if you would share it so that other people can benefit from it. Um, if you started a morning routine and you wanna let me know how it's going, comment below. And if you have any questions, comment below. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So um, just go ahead and email me at anne, A-N-N-E, at annlivingstoncoaching.com. Have a great day, guys.